Alright, that's the end of class. I'm sorry you had to get quarantined, but I hope you have a great spring break. FINALLY! It's spring bread. Bake. You know what that means. It's spring cleaning time. I also have this bottle. Okay, that skit didn't exactly turn out how I wanted it to. I wanted the bottle to shatter, but clearly that's not gonna happen. We did at least get some damage on the cassette player, so that's really all I wanted. Let's just do some drop tests. Let's start with a simple drop test. Maybe you're holding this cassette player, you're about to bring it somewhere, and then the handle slips and you let go. Oh boy, I love rattly noises. Also, I am just now learning that there was a battery compartment on the back and there were batteries inside. Kodak Supra Life. Is that a Supra? Now for a slightly less conventional corner drop. That was impressive. Looks like the cassette deck propped open and there's a cassette tape right there. I didn't even know that was in there. There's a slider right here. I don't know what this one goes to. Let's see. Oh, both of them popped off. And then another knob popped off here. Looks like the knob piece went down behind these bikes. Oh, and right over here, here's the other slider. <sighs> there we go. Got all the pieces back. The eject button isn't even working anymore. Nice. I can literally just prop the deck open now. I'm gonna go ahead and assume this thing doesn't work anymore. I just love rattly bits. Battery cover again. Good. Shut the fu- Now, for the weather clock. For this test, let's just say it's sitting up on like a desk or something and- Oops! <laughs> Yay, more rattly bits! I actually haven't tested either of these yet, so let's see if they work. That's a nice cassette tape. Let's see if the radio works. Well, I'm not hearing anything, and I can't change the radio station because the dial fell off, so... Yeah, this thing's dead. Have you guys ever seen those ads from the 50s where they show off the durability of plastic radios compared to wood ones? It clearly doesn't hold up. Now for the weather clock. Looks like it works, but it's collecting data for California for whatever reason. It also doesn't seem to be pulling any weather data. I wonder if it needs internet. Five minutes later. Oh, why isn't it connecting? You know what? Screw it. Looks like the router fell apart. There's one of the batteries. The front of the weather clock is all the way back there. The handle on this clock broke as well. There's the other battery. It still seems to work just fine. Rattly bits! Just realized the housing for the modem is broken. Okay, it's not going back together perfectly, but it's kind of okay. Let's fix this cassette player gamer rage style. The cassette cover came off. This top piece just does not want to come apart. Weather is a government lie! Playtime is over, we're getting revenge. Uh, I should probably take the batteries out. Oh crap, I punctured this one. I think that's enough for the weather clock. Now it's the cassette player's turn. Let's just put these controller remains on top of it for good measure.
Let's finish off the controller. Now this is one hell of a mess. I guess it's time to clean up. Yay. The video isn't over eight minutes yet, so here's some bloopers. Finally! I also have this bottle. Uh, I don't know what to do. We did at least get some... Tastefully corroded. Why? Apparently there's a face over there? Yeah, uh, that's not a face. Oh, you're still recording. I didn't even realize that. My f***ing camera's dying. I, I just wanted to record. Fuck. At least it gives me an excuse to do my hair. <laughs> well, I wanted to do a fire, but that's clearly not gonna happen.